Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new requirement. As you can see on my screen, I have a slicer having select top customers where the user wants to select top end customers. Based on that, this bar chart is going to change. So currently in the select top customers, three is selected. So in the bar chart, we are able to see only top three customers. So similarly, if I change it to five and click on enter, it will show top five customers. Similarly, if I change it to 10, it is going to show top 10 customers. So this is the requirement and the selection should be uh, from 1 to 100. If I make it 80, you can see top 80 customers. So let us see how to solve this. Okay, so currently as you can see on my screen, I have a chart showing sales measure by customer name. So sales measure is basically a normal sum of sales measure. So now how to create a parameter and link that parameter with the top uh, n values. So for the top n values, first of all, we have to create a rank measure, which will uh, create a top n list of customers with respect to sales measure. So let's create that measure first. So I will click on new measure. Let's name it rank measure. And uh, this will be I will use rank X here and it will take a table as input parameter for table I will give all selected and the column name which is being used in the chart so here I am using customer name so I will use customer name here so why I am using all selected I am using all selected because it will ignore all the filter all the internal filters so so it will not be modified by any filter so it so so that it can give an accurate top end list now the next is expression name expression i will give the measure value that is sales measure next is value i will keep it empty next is the sorting order so i'm going to uh, select descending and then let's select dense because it will not skip any record So I have created a rank measure. So now the next is uh, we have to create a parameter so that the user can select number dynamically. So for that go to modeling, new parameter. And here uh, you will have to choose numeric range. So I want a numeric range, name let it be parameter. And for data type is whole number, minimum is zero, I will make it one. And maximum is, let's make it 100. And increment value will be 1. Default, uh, let's keep it as 5. Add slicer to this page. Yes. And uh, and then next, create. So it will create a parameter. And uh, we can change the values from here. So if I make it 10, I should see only 10 values, 10 customer values. Now how to link this parameter slicer with this bar chart. For this I will have to write one more measure. Click on any measure and click new measure. So this measure name I am writing as condition. And I will write an if condition. If rank measure which we have uh, written is less than equal to parameter value. This parameter value measure will automatically be created when you create the parameter. So choose this parameter value. So if it is less than parameter value, it will give 1. Else it will give 0. Close the bracket. Enter. So I have created this condition. Now I will add this condition in the filter. A filter on this visual. So let's search for condition. And I will add this condition here and I will make it is 1. Apply filter. So now the condition filter has been applied on this visual. Now if I change this, so let's make it 10. So now you will only see 10 customers. And if I make it 5, you will only see 5 customers. Similarly, you can increase or decrease the parameter values and you will get the bar chart accordingly. I hope you found this scenario useful. 
If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.